This video is the answer sheet to Sudoku Primer video number 142, the previous video. Before I get started, I want to show you a t-shirt that's available on the Sudoku Primer website. This t-shirt shows the full Japanese name of Sudoku, and that full Japanese name describes the, the puzzle, uh, how Sudoku works because the full Japanese name means the numbers must be single, which explains that every row, every column, and every box can only have one of each number in it. Uh, to see that t-shirt and several other t-shirt designs, go to sudokuprimer.com and go to the online store. You'll see lots of t-shirt designs out there and there are new ones coming. Well, this is puzzle number 69, a difficult puzzle uh, from the book Expert Sudoku by Nikolai Publishing. If you haven't already seen video 142, I would recommend that you go out and watch that. In that video, I just fill in numbers without explaining how I got each number and your job is to see if you can figure out why each number is placed where it is. And this video is the answer sheet to that previous video. I'm going to explain how each number was placed and why it was placed there. Now I'm not going to talk about every single number because some of them are pretty obvious uh, for, the, for the level of this puzzle. But if I place a number in this one and don't explain it and you're not sure how it why that number went there, please leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. So let's get started. Right at first we put a 7 here and that is pretty easy. A little bit advanced but not too bad. There's a 7 here and a 7 here. So we have ghost 7s here. So 7 ghost 7s and a 7 there. So you can see how that number was placed. The very next number is a six right there. Now, how did I get that? Well, let me explain a couple of things here. See this 516 in uh, column four here? If you look at box eight, you, the 516 can only fit in these three cells. So we have five, uh, 156 triplets here. And because we know those three numbers, we know these are two, three, and eight. Now we can't solve any of those yet. But that helps us, um, that'll help us in a minute. Now conversely, we have box two up here, and there are three, nine, seven in rows, or column six here, and three, nine, seven are triplets in box two. So we have four, six, and eight uh, right here, four, six, eight triplets. And we've got an eight here and a four here, so we know that we know that that's a 6. So that's how I got that 6. Okay, then we can place a 6 here because we've got a 6 here and a 6 here and a 6 here. And the next number that was placed was a 4 there. We've got a 4 here, ghost 4's here. These are the 4-8 twins. So we know um, Ghost fours, four, and the four in this column has to go there. Now at this point, with this four placed here, well, I'm sorry, three, seven, and nine, we know the seven has to go here. There's a seven here, and there's a three in this in these triplets here, two, three, eight triplets right here. So we know that has to be a nine. What we have left here of these three, seven, nine triplets is three and seven, so we can place them. Can't solve the four eights yet. Now let's look down here. We got two, three, eight, we can't solve. We got one fives, one five twins here, we can't solve. But let's look at this column right here, because we place a f the next number that was placed was a five right there, 
and that's because these are one two fives we know these are four eight twins and we have one two five triplets here we've got a two here and a one here so we know that's a five okay. and once we place that five there we know these one five twins here can be solved and then the only number here in this column other than 4 8 here that was is empty they the only cell that was empty is this 2 then we place a 7 here in box 1 and that one's pretty obvious okay and now we can solve all the sevens we've got a seven 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 can't solve those yet but then we've got a uh, oh, we got a seven right here yeah, seven 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 and then we got seven 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 and so now we know that's a seven because that can't be anymore that should be all our sevens Okay, now let's look at row 3 right here. What's missing? 2, 5, 9. 2, 5, 9. There's a 2 and a 5 here, so the 9 was placed there next. Now we know these are 2 and 5, but we can't solve them yet. Now we know this is a 1. After we place that one there, we could see that's a one. Now with this one here, we have a corner corner pattern right here. We've got a three and a four in row nine right here. So we know these are three and four, three, four twins. And with those two numbers, we know what these three numbers are. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine five six and nine there's a five and a nine there so we know that's a six okay now with row nine here uh, the next number was that was placed was an eight and then the number after that was a two that's because we know these are five nine twins so two and eight were the only two numbers left and we could solve the eight there and then the two okay and at this point we can finish with this two here we know that where the three and eight go okay and with this three that we just filled in we can fill in those two numbers Now there's only two numbers left in this row, and they're 1 and 2. So we can solve them. We know there's a 2 right there. And with this 2, we know that the two fives that we found earlier, we can solve them. Now we got a 3 and a 5 there. And that's because we have 3, 5, 3, 5 already in these two rows, so we know 3 and 5 had to go there. Now we've only got three numbers left here 1, 6, 8. 1, 6, and 8. There's a 1 and 8 there. There's a 1 there. Now we can finish the 5 9s in the in box 9 here. And column 7 only is only missing a 2 and a 3 now. Now we can fill in a, a 3 here. We can finish box two now. We know that's a nine. 
now we've got um, <clears throat> let's look at this column right here the next thing we did in uh, video 142 is placed a 4 there let's see how we got that we're missing 1 4 6 8 1 4 6 8 there's a 1 6 and 8 in this box already so we knew that was a 4 and then we put in an 8 there because of this 1 6 here Then we can code a, the box 5 and fill in a 9 here because there's only 4 and 9 missing. Got a 4 there. And then we know that's a 4. This is the only number left in column 8. And now we can solve the 1 8 in box 5. Okay, now we're missing a 1 here and a 1 here, and those are pretty straightforward. We're only missing a 4 and a 6 in box 1. Now we can fill in a 9 here in box 1, and that's because we're only missing a 6 and a 9 in that row, and there's a 6 there. And now we have a 6 and a 9 there missing. So we can solve them. Box 7 is missing a 5 and a 9. So we can solve them. And now here we're missing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we can finish those in that way. And that's it. So that's how we solved uh, the puzzle in video 142. I gave you, kind of explained each number. And I went pretty quickly on some of the numbers. So if, if I was, if you're not sure about something, please leave a comment and I can uh, try and answer your questions. Well, thank you for watching and be sure and check out the online store. There's some pretty cool t-shirts out there.